hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas day five so guys if you're new to my channel my name is vanessa honestly on today's video guys like today is going to be such a slow day for me because for some reason i woke up on like the wrong side of my bed and this week like i've been overthinking and like i've just been stressed the entire week and like I have been going through the most and as a result my skin is going through the most like I don't know if you guys can see like acne is coming back with full force I've been neglecting myself neglecting my skincare routine neglecting everything I guess it's just one of those periods especially when you know when you sit and you overthink and then you feel like you're underachieving so I've just been in that space full of like negativity and everything and it's high time I get myself out of it. So guys, today I decided to take care of myself. I probably, I want to go out and like get lunch somewhere, but I also don't want to go far. But if you live in Bonaberry, you know that in Bonaberry there are very limited options. So I'm not quite sure of where I'm going to go to, but I would figure it out. So guys, oh my God, like I'm already sweating. Like Dwala is so hot, guys. So guys, I look ashy because I already cleaned my skin. I have this video, this skincare routine is not going to be like a full on detailed video because I already have a skincare routine video and like all the products I'm going to use today, I've probably already used them in the previous video. I'm going to put the link in the subscription box and if you're interested, you can check that out. So yeah guys, I already cleaned my skin with black soap. I use um, the Fix Store black soap which has been doing wonders for me by the way um, but I got this black soap from Nigeria I actually just got a lot so I don't run out of stock I'm sure you can get black soap from Cameroon I'm not I don't know where but I'll probably look into that and I would you know tell you guys where you can buy but if you're in Nigeria and you're interested in buying the black soap you can check them out at the fix store on Instagram I'll just you know drop a link or something in the description box below so right now i'm going to you know cleanse my face with their toner it's also um i don't know if you guys can see that it's it's the fix store chamomile and tea tree oil toner let me take that off oh my god guys it's so hot like this obviously no matter how hard you wash your face you're still going to get like dirt and everything so it's always advisable to you know use the toner so you can take off the excess So guys don't forget your neck i don't get why like people do like skincare routines and like they never like they actually never take care of their neck you know like it just looks funny so yeah guys <laughs> there's like little or nothing but that's fine that just means i did my job well so as moisturizer i use um long reach uh, this one is actually quite harsh so I don't know I'll just read it out and I'll leave the link so this is the long reach sheep placenta salt milk which works well with my skin by the way I have really oily skin so I make sure that I use moisturizers that are light so I don't sweat too much on a regular I already sweat too much I think I'm already sweating and like the toner isn't even dry yet but i'm already sweating guys so like i'm just going to use very little of this very little
I came to Cameroon, I moved back to Cameroon. Don't worry, when I'm ready to talk about it, I'll actually do a whole video on it. For now, I'm not ready. I don't feel like I'm at that point yet that I'm willing to discuss that. Hopefully, if I give it time, if I'm here for like up to eight, nine months, I'll be able to do like a full on video on like moving back and like the pros and the cons. For now, I'm just not ready to have that conversation. I, I don't think I'm over it yet. So it's going to take time for me to like settle in and like get used to it. So right now, like guys, I use this a lot actually. This is just like a regular media, uh, yeah, a regular media lip balm. It just works for me. just going to move around and maybe ask around or ask my brother or something there must be a nice place in this Bonaberry that I can go and sit down I just feel like I need to be away for a bit I just need to sit down listen to music maybe eat like good food and drink a glass of something and like maybe I would go back to being sane again if that makes sense so yeah guys I'll see you guys in a bit So guys, like one thing I don't like about this place here is their service. Like their service is so slow. Like I've been here for a bit and nobody has attended to me. Um, there was this babe that came with the menu. Like she literally dropped the menu and then she disappeared. So I've been signaling ever since then. Like I literally turned back, look, use my hand and like try to say hello, but nobody is still coming. And like I like the space. Like they have a beautiful space. And I like how like it's the decor and how it's arranged and everything. But they are also not like the cleanest. Like I can see dirt on the floor, I can see dirt on the tables, like there are flies on my table. Like honestly, like it's just irritating me. And at this point, I don't know, like but I've been here, this is like the second time I've been here. So I don't want to like rule really it off without like having tasted their food and properly reviewed their food. So I'm just going to order like something of their menu maybe like two items and when it comes like i'll see how it is just to decide if like the place is trash or not but if you live in bonaberry you know that a lot of people actually rate this area like i'm surprised because like they rate the way they rate spy like this is like their gathering ground like a lot of people always come here they come here for dates and stuff so hopefully their food is not trash hopefully Hopefully, hopefully, the spot that you want to come to. So let's see how it goes. Hey guys, so like, there's like another problem. So this is like the second time she's coming back to say like, they don't have like, what is available. Like what I picked was not available on their menu. I wanted um, the chicken burger, but apparently they ran out of chicken. So I would have to settle for a beef burger. I also wanted um, a beef shawarma, but they ran out of beef, <laughs> and I would have to settle for like if I want the beef shawarma, they would have to do um, the shawarma with minced meat, which doesn't make sense because it's no longer a beef shawarma. I don't know what that is, so I had to settle for 
um, the chicken shawarma. Since they said they ran out of chicken, I don't know what they're going to do this time. I don't know if I'm going to end up having a ham shawarma or some veggie shawarma. So anyway, let's wait and see, Sha. What's the worst that can happen? If they bring it, I don't like it, they'll take it back. guys I just finished having the shawarma so they finally gave me um, a chicken shawarma so apparently like they have chicken for shawarma but they don't have chicken for burger so I'm just going to you know do a review on the shawarma before I start eating like the burger so I would give the shawarma a 3 on 10 so first off part of the the wrap was burnt in multiple places and like the wrap was extra dry like a shawarma wrap isn't supposed to be that dry like i get that they heat it up and everything but when it's too dry it's a problem and it was dry up to the point that it got burnt and the filling was overly salty it was way too salty and um, the sauce i don't know if it's mayonnaise or it's just that like salad cream that they put in there it was really nothing to write home about with so to be honest it's nothing special i rather like go to aqua and buy shawarma from roadside sellers in Napa. Like they know their thing, they know how they do it perfectly. This is, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend you spending your money to buy shawarma from here. So let's eat the burger. And by the way, guys, like I just saw something. Let me show you guys. Guys, look at it. There's so much Like, look at it. What is that? Look at that. You guys, like, I just ate the burger and surprisingly it's actually not bad I would give it a 6 or 10 like it, it was juicy maybe and it was warm and like it was cheesy and like even though I added like an insane amount of pepper in it and I just feel like pepper makes everything better so like the burger made sense so now I'm going to have like the last item I ordered and on their menu it's called I don't know why it's called the dead devil so like literally I think it's like a combination of um, ice cream and coffee. So let's see how that goes. You guys, this is actually not bad, you know. I actually quite like the Daredevil, but I don't get why it's called the Daredevil. It doesn't make sense. Like, they could have just given it some fancy meal because there's really nothing daring about it. But it's an okay drink. I would give it a 7 out of 10. Alright guys, welcome to the end of today's video. Let me let me just go home for a little bit in this place because for analyzing and about analyzing their food. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.